Hey guys, what's going on? B McG here, and today we have a showcase on my Rank 2 Domino. Most of the footage is going to be on the Content Creator Beta with full recoil. I mean, not full recoil, but the full, like, recoil masteries with, you know, recoil double edge, liquid courage. But I just wanted to show you guys what she's like without them, just in case you guys were, you know, curious or whatever. Uh, we usually try to start these videos with just like a normal like damage showcase kind of thing and then we try to delve into like the more utility kind of thing with you know story content showcasing but you know domino is she's wild i, I i'm not I, I don't know if you guys know I, i'm not the biggest fan of domino i ranked her up because she was my only mutant seven star and i had her at sig 40 and i was like you know what i got her three times now I didn't get any other mutant. It's destined to be. I'm going to put my beef aside with her and just rank her up. Because when I first started out playing MCOC and like started actually getting into the game, when I was getting to the point where I could rank five, uh, five stars, everyone was like, you got to rank up your domino. I'm jealous of your domino. You got to rank her up. She's so good. And then I ranked her up and then I went in story quests and it was like terrible because it was an RNG fiesta. And I just never really used her again after that until recently. And I've I've been warming up to her. I just don't know if I'm ever going to get to that level of like, you know, really enjoying using her. Just because of how RNG focused she is. I, I like champs with more guaranteed abilities and she's just like, special 2 doesn't crit and it does like absolutely nothing. And then out of nowhere she crits on the special two and then she just does some insane things like right here i believe we get a crit no we don't i mean it's still some solid damage without the crit but that's not going to close out any battlegrounds matches so yeah i'm trying to warm up to her i do think she was a necessary rank up for my account though because the six star domino on my account is rank one and she's not max sig here's a uh, good special two to close out the fight crazy when you compare those to the, that special two to the previous ones before but the six star domino on my account she's not ranked up she's not sigged up so when i got the seven star it's essentially like a free rank five and a uh, rank four and a half six star so when i took her up to rank two now she's at the you know highest level of dominoes out there and yeah she's she's been great for me in battlegrounds and she's also a dual use character because i can use her on attack you know now that she's ranked two and have decent results now we have the you know recoil masteries going and we're on the content creator beta and we have the trinity going her synergy trinity or whatever and that was insanely fast sub 30 seconds for 500,000 health she's just nuts with that synergy that synergy is really good for her because it gives her guaranteed damage which I don't think she really needs that level of damage, but <laughs> it's really good. So it, it really makes her more usable for me at least because I could just parry heavy, but I also get bored doing that. So uh, I don't know, but she is really solid and I cannot deny that she's a good character and she's a great you know champion overall. I just don't particularly enjoy her and I only ranked her up just for Battlegrounds defense and then just so I could maybe squeeze in a win on uh, battlegrounds attack with her i think we get lucky on this one yeah we get real lucky there <laughs> she's got some cool abilities and I, I do think her kit design is really cool but with how she interacts with abilities and she just like randomly turns things off that you might want to keep on like beneficial quest nodes it, it's just kind of annoying but we're going into some act seven Act 8 is not on the content creator beta right now, so I couldn't really get any Act 8 gameplay with Recoil. I didn't want to swap masteries on the live server, but we will be starting here against Mordo. The main thing that we need to know about this lane is that there's Pleasure to Burn, I believe is what the note is called. So Incinerate deal, I think, 200% more damage. So we're going to be seeing, we're going to be seeing a lot of damage here. Um, and one more heavy attack and Mordo is flushed down the toilet. So pretty solid stuff there. Next up we have Moon Knight on the same nodes. And this one's even faster. It's honestly nuts. We're getting like 52,000 damage per second with just one incinerate. 
now we're at 30 <laughs> now we're back up to actually 64 to close it out so just some really insane damage there and then the last fight that i'm going to show on this path is thing this is not like an ideal match for domino because ideally your parry you're, you're parrying which is stunning the opponent and then heavying but your parries will trigger stun and then stun triggers things protection and then if that doesn't trigger it like if it goes on cooldown or whatever your heavy attacks can trigger protection like right here uh not right here it's uh the next one um after we get hit <laughs> so uh right no it's not that one i'm trying to find where we uh triggered protection off our heavy attack right there so we hit you know hard enough and trigger protection so it just really slows our damage down um so yeah we're just you know slowly chipping away this thing and the funny thing is this is still not that slow in comparison to like other like thing fights so it's she's pretty good pretty good for this fight and we're just gonna get hit a little bit more we're gonna finish the fight here with a heavy into a special three and the special three will close this fight out so pretty solid stuff here from domino um, yeah right there things gone so boom. next up we have I believe a biohazard lane in 7.1.5 I think it is or 7.1.6 uh, you guys could look it up on Ant May if you're curious but essentially every five hits mute, uh, mutant attackers will purify I think certain damaging debuffs on them but Domino has a base purify chance for bleeds and when she purifies bleeds she gains power so it allows her to just like ins ramp up insanely quickly so uh, you guys will see as we get you know inflicted with these bleeds we didn't shrug that one off but the next one we will we get to our special three and we drop it since he's unlucky and we are lucky so now we have a really solid chance at getting a critical bleed and an armor break I do like how her special three is the more like guaranteed special attack but yeah we're just gonna melt him down with this you know crit bleed here not gonna bother hitting him just let him melt and he's gone so really solid stuff there next up we have long shot on these same nodes there's nothing really special to long shot here he has increased ability accuracy from his base kit but I don't think it's really affecting the uh, the rate at which we're inflicted with these bleeds but we do get lucky there with some uh, nice crit bleeds I believe that's 24,000 damage per second is what we have going there and we refresh them with a special one or I think we tried to refresh them with a special one I don't know if we did and he's gone so really solid stuff there next up we have Nick Fury on this node there's really not much special about Nick Fury here other than him just being a menace on defense in general because if you get clipped by his basic attacks he has a chance to throw a fourth light attack which will deal an insane amount of bleed damage to you and then he also has a second life where he goes stun immune so he's just really annoying to fight against but um yeah we'll get one more special two after this one and it's uh it's a good time you guys will see uh, it, it's a really 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 strong special attack and boom 200,000 damage on the last two hits absolutely nuts and then we like I said eat the fourth light luckily you know there's no deep wounds on like just normal quest defenders so it was a you know short bleed and it immediately fell off we go in for the striker here to help us get to our special two and we get to it we're lucky and he's unlucky uh, sadly we didn't get any crits so we didn't deal you know massive damage to close out the fight which is what I had wanted and uh, yeah, we close out this fight here with a special one. Nice 24,000 crit to close that one out. And we are moving on to the next path showcase in this video. This one is more of a... I, I almost contemplated on getting rid of this like footage and just trying to find another path. But I figured this should be fine because uh, this is a mercy lane. So if you guys are unfamiliar with mercy, you have to like evade attacks and dex attacks and once you do that you build up these mercy charges on yourself and then you want to parry the opponent to pass them on to the opponent and that will allow you to deal full damage to the opponent but domino has negative 15 percent ability accuracy reduction in her kit at all times 
and that is amplified, I think, by 35%. So it becomes a 50% when it's uh, when she's got the opponent unlucky. So there's a really solid chance for her to just be failing all kinds of random abilities, and this extends to quest nodes. Some can be beneficial, some cannot. So you guys will see. I don't know if it's in this fight, but it's in one of the fights later where we just turn off the mercy node after parrying, which I think is funny how she could just randomly do that. We drop our special 2 here and it does like absolutely nothing. We didn't have any mercy passes on the opponent so that would explain why, but you know it's uh, semi-annoying. Yeah, so the mercy passives on the opponent are now gone and now we're dealing full damage so this is a beneficial part to Domino where she can just turn off random things that she probably shouldn't be turning off. But it's also a detriment because some of these nodes could be positive and she's turning them off, which you know, is a double-edged sword. She's kind of like Falcon in that regard, because Falcon, when he locks on the opponent, there could be beneficial things that happen when you strike the opponent, but due to his lock-on, he's turning them off. So it's it's just a weird, you know, place for characters to be at where they could be turning beneficial things off. But overall, I mean, I do think it has more pros than cons. It just limits their questing use, in my opinion. But... Generally speaking, like stuff like Battlegrounds, uh, they're going to be plenty fine. Uh, right there, we didn't really get lucky at all on that special 2, and it did like no damage. So this, the main reason why I kept this like path in here was to show you guys how Domino goes from 0 to 100 insanely fast because she's an RNG Fiesta. And, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with an RNG Fiesta because we play an RNG Fiesta mobile game. But like right there, I think it was a 65k special one with a critical bleed, and I believe we're going to get in here and refresh it. Yeah, we refresh it with our special one with a 65k crit to close that one off. And then we just do a couple basic hits, and he's pretty much in the bin. Um, you know, I just need to get the special one out of him, do a basic combo, and he's gone. And lastly, we have Invisible Woman. This fight is like the epitome of like insane RNG, where it goes both ways. So you guys will see later on, we're getting battered down due to just how bad we've been playing earlier on. We are losing damage due to recoil, or losing health due to recoil, and we're not really regenerating much because we're constantly losing health due to liquid courage. Right there, you know, it doesn't help if you eat basic attacks from the opponent, but we drop for special two. She goes invisible mid special 2, and she takes us down to 1%. We get the dex in the corner, and now we just try to attack, but we're literally flat at 1% or 1% health. And we're losing health at the moment, so I'm not sure how close we were to actually dying. I'd assume we're pretty close since we're at 1%. But we do need to gain some more debuffs, which we do from striking her while she's in her force field. That gives us these exhaustions and allows us to willpower heal more than we're losing. And then she places that fragility on us that will just stay indefinitely so it's free willpower healing. Now we need her to throw her special one. That way we could dash at her as soon as she throws it to trigger the invisibility. Make that go on cooldown. You guys will see I think right here. We dash in, trigger it, and it goes on cooldown. So now we drop our special three. And you guys will see how quickly domino just is like yep the fight is done because i say it's done uh, <laughs> she's just she's so random and so weird <laughs> but you guys will see here um you know we take her force field down and then we just need to get to our next special attack because we have this crit bleed we drop just a massive special one to close out the fight almost 100k special one to close out the fight and yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video hit like sub if you're new if you already subbed you know i love you see you guys for the next video or stream peace out